world of insects to life needs much more than just a camera. It takes a whole suite of specialist equipment, moving in precise ways, or at high speed, to see the world in a different way. So, what does the world look like to an insect? Here's one way to find out. Series researcher Rollo Wood just happens to be an ace racing drone pilot. The feed from the drone's camera to his virtual reality headset allows him to fly like an insect. To get a bee's eye view of a meadow. Or to fly through complex environments. With all the agility of an insect. Well, almost. To be fair, insects have had a few million years more to practice. Visiting the tiny world of insects is all about being able to move the camera in three dimensions. In tiny spaces like inside a computer. Hard to achieve without first performing a bit of delicate surgery. A probe lens designed for close-up photography, can squeeze into narrow spaces. But the camera movements need to be extremely precise to avoid any expensive collisions. This motorized rail is driven by software that's accurate down to fractions of an inch. And at the same time, it can drive a turntable to allow the camera to do barrel rolls. It's not straight, is it, completely, yeah? But it only works if everything is aligned precisely. A very fiddly process. but finally worth it. At the other extreme, moving the camera at high speed presents a whole different set of problems. So a bit of acceleration time now. If you want to capture a shot like this, you need to move the camera very, very fast around a single point of focus. And this rig, driven by a powerful motor, was designed to do just that. The idea behind the rotation, the fundamental principle, is that if you're shooting high speed to capture, obviously, high speed action, the rotation needs to be fast to see rotation in the high speed shot. So at a thousand frames a second, every second, on playback is 40 seconds, so you obviously have to shift the camera a fair bit to see any movement in a few of those frames. A 
that's fine to move the camera in a circle, but what about more complicated moves? This robot arm looks like something out of a car factory. Because that's exactly what it is. But instead of building a Porsche, it moves the camera anywhere and everywhere in three dimensions. We worked with the world-renowned robotics lab at the University of the West of England to design software to allow us to make these complex moves with repeatable precision. And at any speed. Just don't get in the way. In the past, scenes like this were only possible with complex video effects, especially ones that would otherwise involve lying down in front of a herd of elephants. Now, the latest sci-fi films use high-resolution LED screens to provide moving backgrounds to studio action. And we adapted this technology to work in the insect world. And no one got squished by elephants. Some of this technology has to be portable enough to haul it into the great outdoors. Well, when we're back in the studio, we can build nice big elaborate sets and get all the behaviour we need. But obviously, in Bristol, we don't have this. This incredible area of vegetation and vistas and unable to actually film these animals in their natural setting and see as far as the eye can see. It is a beautiful thing. But to make the most of our technology, we still can't resist improving on nature with a spot of alfresco set building. Yeah, what we've got here is, um, is a roller dolly, which um, sits on a couple of sets of rails, which means I can move the camera up and down. The set is actually built on this table in front of me and that just means that I'm able to focus here, track past it, but then have all the background behind moving in parallax. But using technology in the field comes with its own problems. Setting up the slider dolly, it's quite a challenge in sand, because the sand shifts all the time, and of course as soon as the wind blows, sand goes everywhere. We, we've, we've been getting sand under the wheels, all around all the mechanism on the tripod head, and of course, worst of all, on the camera, you know, I can actually write my name in some of the sand on here at the moment. And I spend the entire day with a paintbrush just trying to keep sand off the body as much as possible. And sometimes it's just impossible to improve on nature. Like the spring flower displays in South Africa. To make the most of these spectacular landscapes needs the portable version of the studio robot arm. A crane gimbal. A motorised frame stabilises the camera and allows the cameraman to use good old-fashioned muscle power to move it. just not as fast or as precisely as the robot arm. Thanks to all this cutting-edge technology, we could travel right round Planet Insect in style. To reveal the invisible and to celebrate the extraordinary world of insects.